Hi Cancers! Welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is going to be another love reading for you. I hope this video finds you all well, safe and healthy and happy, of course. Um, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single Cancer, so don't force it to fit. Just take it how it resonates, okay? Um, if you haven't joined the family, please hit the subscription button, join us, um, and if you like this video, if you resonate with it, please give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you're vibing with it, you feel it. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Okay, so let's get into your reading. See what messages are here for you. And of course, we're going to always get you some advice. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, the Fool, the Seven of Swords, and the Strength card. Okay. What is your advice, my love? Six of Pentacles. Underneath that is the Seven of Cups. Okay. So, with the Seven of Cups, there could be some confusion in your situation. Um maybe illusion indecision not really having direction you know just not really sure what to do just i'm confused I, mean, I don't know what to do i'm lost i need some direction i need something okay so we'll see we'll see what's going on so the six of pentacles is your advice we'll clarify this at the end stay tuned meantime you could be cancer um i feel like you could be working on something a new path, a new beginning, maybe, um, like stepping out on faith. I get the stepping out on faith thing. But the Seven of Swords, mm, you could be secretly doing something, secret, doing something in secret. But whatever you're doing, you're trying to be strong. You're trying to hang in there. I get that with the Strength card. I don't know. It's not... <laughs> I feel like you need some courage here but you're trying with something here with the eight of pentacles so why is the eight of pentacles here uh -oh. upside down why is the eight of pentacles here okay all right so the wheel of four okay so there is an um there is something happening in your connection with this person that mm, I feel like there is some sort of interruption you could be dealing with a Gemini perhaps this person has something else going on or you're trying to learn it you're trying to fix it you're trying to repair it there's some in some effort you're doing you're putting into making this work it's like i feel like you're trying to make this connection work by fixing whatever this this interruption is here or this outside it's like external to the to, to the to you and your lover it's external to you and you're trying to fix it somehow because you have this if you're not dealing with the gemini um i see that you have a very you know you're very connected with this person you have a nice strong bond here so let's see let's keep it going why is the fool here wow that's a lot of cards let's just see yeah well again I, I feel like i do get this energy of you trying to fix something wanting to get clarity understanding so that you guys could be in a better place better situation because with the nine of wands i think you know that there's an issue here and you're like i'm i'm trying to step out on faith you know but i need <sighs> it's like you need some sort of confirmation or clarity or a breakthrough you know something that shows that hey we're moving in a good direction with this six of swords we're moving into something more positive there's no drama there um, there's no chaos, there's peace there, and whatever this is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the energy of this, um, in a minute, but whatever that is, you're trying to fix that, okay? So, why is the Seven of Swords here? 
Yeah. The King of Swords, again. So you could be dealing with an air sign. You got Gemini, Aquarius. <sighs> but why the King of Swords? Like, do you think this person is... Strength card. Do you think this person is not being honest with you? Do you think they are making um, unwise decisions? Um, maybe. Maybe. What's the energy of the Seven of Swords? What is the energy of the Seven of Swords? Okay. Okay, Nine of Swords reverse. Yeah, maybe they're maybe they're not. Uh, with the Seven of Swords reverse, I mean, it's hard. The Nine of Swords reverse. Like maybe this person is healing. They're coming out of something that's very stressful. But with the Seven of Swords, maybe they were hiding something. Maybe they were. Um, making bad decisions. <laughs> um, what else do I get with this? Seven of Swords. Um, I feel like whatever they were doing here, maybe they're coming out of it. Maybe they're not doing it. So if they weren't lying, sneaking, che cheating, you know, not being wise, making poor decisions, I feel like they are not doing that anymore. Because even here, it's like, with the king of swords with the strength it's like maybe they are taking charge maybe they're starting to level up with i love the strength card because it talks about being convicted and you know stepping it up and taking action and you know um having courage and yeah so why 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 the strength card hmm why the strength card that is a leo okay queen of wands ten of pentacles why the ten of pentacles ten of wands in reverse I mean, if this person is trying to release their burdens regarding another person, I mean, this could be, they could have, could be some third party energy here. Maybe you know that, and this is why you're like, listen, I need to fix this. I'm going to clarify this, see, see what happens with that. But this person could have been involved with someone long term, um, a fire sign. And maybe they're trying to get out of it or get over it. Not, you know, but they are having a hard time here. You know what I mean? Like they can't escape this connection. Now, you guys, this doesn't have to mean that they are physically involved with somebody. It could be mentally like in their mind. Because with the Ten of Wands, I kind of just get that. Like this is in their head. You know what I mean? Like, they, they can't move forward. This is all about your wands or, like, your growth and your passions. And I feel like they are, they can't escape this connection that they have with someone. Still dealing, but, but, but to, I feel like they, they're doing, something's happening where they are coming, they're not as stressed out. I mean, you know, let's see, what is the energy of this Wheel of Fortune in reverse? What is the energy of the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? The Sun. Maybe they are... Someone is dealing with the Leo. Hold on. Why the Sun? The King of Cups. I mean... Like, maybe you learned that this they may still love this person. They may still be in love with them. Oh, the hermit. When did the hermit fall out? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, man. The hermit. I always have to put it back. I have to look back at the video, but sorry, guys. I don't know when that came out. But the sun with the king of cups. Like, their feelings, their emotions. That's what I'm getting. Like, their feelings and their emotions 
are interrupting this connection. Like you're ready to, I feel like you're ready to take a leap, but I don't know if you, you're getting every, all of this person's feelings and emotions. Like they may just be stuck here. Their feelings are stuck with someone else, something they can't seem to get out of, those feelings, those emotions, you know? What's the energy of the Eight of Pentacles? So you're definitely trying to get overcome some sort of obstacle. Like, you want success with this. Again, you, you want to win here with this relationship. And it's like, ugh. Like, you're ready to just take this leap. But you need clarity. Like, I think you need clarity on where this person stands. I don't think you're feeling that, again, you're kind of expecting the worst here. Like, oh my God, I'm going to be dealing with this person and they're still in love with someone else. Or they still can't get past whatever. If it's hurt or whatever those wands represent. And you just want to, you just want to be cool. You just want to be in a good place with them. What's the energy of the fool? And then we'll get your advice. What's the energy of the fool? Wow. Okay. The Ace of Pentacles. Come on, you guys. Ace of Pentacles with King of Pentacles. Like, you're so ready for a new beginning with this person. Um, this could be even in, like, you guys could have business together or you're ready. The, the King of Pentacles, um, you know, is very optimistic, like, ready to go. I feel like you, you want to just take on, sorry if you can't see the cards all the way um they're all over the place um i feel like you're you're you are ready for this relationship but your person i don't know they're like mentally emotionally just kind of not all the way there like you don't have them all the way all right so let's get your advice okay cancer dang yeah this that is interrupting your connection. So that person has some... I feel like, with, yeah, with the Nine of Swords reversed, like, they are coming out of, like, something very stressful. You know, even though they still they have this stuck energy, like, they, they could be healing. Like, you could be helping them. Depending on the type of relationship you have, you could be helping them come out of it. All right. Six of Pentacles is your advice. Um, it's just saying, you know, if you see someone in need, be ready to help them, to give to them. I mean, this could be your person, like they may need you, you know what I mean? To kind of just be by their side. No, I don't get, I don't get that they are, they may not be telling you the truth with that Seven of Swords. Like, I feel like they could be hiding trying to get away with some type of information but i don't know if i feel like they are just complete like involved with this person like i don't know i don't really get that but it could be so take it how it resonates it it could be for some of you all right why the six of pentacles the magician the strength card Mm. why the strength card I mean right off the bat you guys okay hold on let's see why the eight of why the eight of pentacles why the eight of pentacles the four of wands so I mean this person may need you to be strong Okay. <sighs> you are probably dealing with someone who doesn't have a lot of control over what they're doing, their feelings or, or something like that. And they just need to come around. You know what I mean? So if you're able to help them in that way, in that regard, then I think that is your advice is to just... You know, be um, supportive. I get supportive with the Six of Pentacles. You don't always have the charity or you're giving something tangible. I mean, sometimes it's just being supportive. And um, 
I think that helps with the relationship. Because if, I mean, we're getting the four of wands here. If you're in a relationship with this person, like while they are still healing, it's like allowing them to do that. I feel like spirit is telling me that you have the strength and the willpower to do that. Like you have what it takes to allow this person to go through what they're going through. Like let it run its course. Again, you are free to do whatever you want. This is what I see here. Um, you have what it takes. Like, you know, maybe, you know, not everybody just goes through the healing process and stay single and not get involved with other people. Most people push it away and, you know, um, I mean, we don't know. I don't know what had, what happened in that person's previous relationship. So, um, I think it's here just being supportive and being patient. I get like something being patient, being strong, you know, um, tapping into your willpower. This is how you can help your relationship. This is how you, this is the effort that you need to put into your relationship. Cause I feel like you have something very special, a very special relationship with this person. Um, I feel, what do we have the lover's card? Yeah, we have the lover's card. So this person's a little, there's a little, some interruption, some external thing um that's affecting your person um it's not you okay so some of you are like is it me like what you know perhaps this person is displaying a certain behavior that's making you question like you know what do you feel about me how do you feel about us like do you want me do you want us blah 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 they're just dealing with some disappointment right now i feel like they've been hurt or they've been you know betrayed i'm getting that i, I didn't see that in the car but i'm kind of getting that intuitively which is why they're having a hard time getting over it. But I love that the Nine of Swords was in reverse. Because that tells me that there is some healing that has taken place. Like this person has overcome something. Okay, they're not there yet. But they're getting there. <laughs> okay. Alright, Cancer. I'm going to leave it there. And um, yeah, good luck with this. I hope this was helpful. And I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.